for those who don't know maybe what our year was like, um, we did have a, an unexpected um, eventful year to say the least and got a diagnosis that was shocking and fast forward three major surgeries after that. So there was a lot um, on our plate this, this, this year and yet this was our biggest year. I'm an only child and Steve was actually my first roommate I ever had. <laughs> So uh, it, it took a lot for him to step up and kind of mold me into being a, a good roommate and being used to giving people some of my space and all that. But he was great. He was kind of like a coach, just like Tammy said earlier. One of the rebellious things that my brother did, um, this was in high school, he came home one day and he had bought himself a Harley, um, <laughs> brand new, Sportster 1000, and um, as far as rebellious, I can remember our mother's face when he came home with that. Uh, something he's taught me that has helped me manage life is to always put others before yourself. And be a selfless person and very careful about others around you. And if you ever see someone who needs help or needs assistance, that go be above others and help them out. Steve is, uh, he's always been very hardworking and he's always working and one year when we were selling our last house, Steve had been working so hard and he finally took his family on vacation and no kidding, the second day on vacation, a call came through about our house and Steve uh, took that call and continued to work the next two or three days to go through the offers and counters and agreements and, and, and so did that while he was on the beach and yeah. We're sorry we ruined your vacation. <laughs> I don't know if everybody knows this, but Scott was um, an illustrator in his first job. Before he got into the building world, he, he got a degree from Purdue in industrial illustration. He used to hand draw electronic components in catalogs and publish catalogs for Howard Sam. So that's how he got started. So probably you didn't know that Scott's a drawer. <laughs> I don't know if everybody knows, but he grew up a farm boy, a pig farmer. You learn to get up and go get the work done. Nobody else is there in your company that's going to pick up the slack from you. He, get, he learned early on to get up and go do the work. Dad, I love you so much and we're so proud of you. Congrats on the award. Scott, just want to say how proud I am of all the work that you've done to earn this award. We love you and I cannot believe we've been married 39 years and great job. We're just really glad that uh, that you've won that you're winning this award and that you're um, that you're that they're showing appreciation for all the hard work that, you, that we all know that you put in. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's well deserved and um, great job. Hey Uncle Steven and Aunt Tammy, congratulations on your award. I've always admired your work ethic. I hope you enjoy this. Congrats on an amazing year and such a huge accomplishment. I love you a lot and I'm really proud of you, Dad. Congratulations, Dad, to you and your team on this amazing award. Um, it's such a big accomplishment. I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to see you. This award is a tribute to your hard work ethic, your love of family, and your readiness to help others. Congratulations from the Wells. Congratulations, Steve, from our family to you and yours. You deserve this recognition. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations, Steve. So proud of you and our team. You're amazing. Congratulations, Steve.